Day number 29 in this fifth month of May. It's a Monday. This is how we kickstart the week with you right here on the AM show. My name is Benjamin Akako. Of course, I do this as always with Bernice Abwedo Ladsa. We love you and we're grateful that you've taken the time to join us, not just today, but in the course of the week. Now, here's what we have lined up for you this morning. First, the news will come up in just a bit. And right after that, well, we're joined by energy analyst Kojo Poku. He is our guest as we delve into the newspapers. Of course, we'll be bringing you our daily weekday dose of sports as well. But today, in terms of our big stories, we'll be hosting the king himself, Kwesi Che Dakwa, KKD for short. Now, we're going to be having a conversation with him on a number of matters, including how President Akufuado has uh, fared so far in terms of handling the affairs of the state. Has he lived up to expectation or not? What do you think? Well, we'll be hearing from the king on the show. But also coming up this morning on the show, we'll be hosting official from the Nuclear Power Institute of the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission. It brings back memories, doesn't it? All the way back to the 60s, to Kwame Nkrumah, and what he started, and the trajectory. Well, this morning we'll be hosting them to tell us a bit more about their collaboration with Japan, one of the world leaders as far as that is uh, concerned. Uh, we'll bring you details of that. Also on the show, we'll be telling you about the Ghana Revenue Authority's upfront payment by VAT registrable persons on imported taxable goods, including vehicles at all ports of entry. If you're one of those who bring vehicles and other uh, such items into the country, you want to stay and listen to that conversation. But also, we'll let you in on how Action Aid is looking forward to a just, fair, and sustainable world in which everybody enjoys the right to a life of dignity and freedom from poverty and oppression. And I know definitely these are subject areas that all of us are concerned about, especially when you look at economic freedom in our part of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Ghanaians, this is what we have lined up for you this morning. Do stay with us. Up next, the news. <laughs> 